some of them like to get wet and some of them are going to try and head for the door you're going to come out and say hello oh come on out and say hello you gonna come right on with me you gonna come right on up oh ooh, ow ooh, ooh, yeah okay you get to you get to play your lizards oh yes you do okay. Hey, what's going on everyone? Ken in here and even though it has been cold and the animals are locked up with the exception of the elongated, getting a little sun, there's still a lot of work that has to be done making sure the animals are healthy. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you something. I want to make sure that even though I've got these guys locked up, they don't get sick. Why would they get sick? Well, look at how dirty and filthy this enclosure is, this hide box, because these guys have been locked up for 24 hours. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna open this up and let these guys out, and I'm gonna go ahead and really wash this thing just to make sure that we get out all that fecal matter. I don't want these animals getting sick. So just showing you some of the things I have to do even though the animals aren't in full activity mode i cleaned out their water and now we're just going to spray this out and make sure oh boy i gotta really pull hard here we're just going to give them a bath essentially is what's going to happen so very simple start wetting them down i tilted this thing you notice i tilted it so that the water drains out the front and i'm just giving them a good spray and some of them like to get wet and some of them are going to try and head for the door which is better for me this guy's blocking the door right there that gal so i just want to go ahead and rinse these guys all out and that's what we're going to be doing i'm going to be just checking on the animals even though I'm not letting a lot of the animals out today because, to be honest, with the amount of work it takes to get these guys back in, um, it's better for me to just keep them locked up for maybe 48 hours. It's just easier. And um, they don't really miss a beat because in the course of a lifetime, 48 hours once or twice a year is no big deal for these guys. So I don't feel so bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep on rinsing this out and I'll show you what happens when it's clean or cleaner. We're not gonna really scrub it. We're just gonna get out any of that loose poop. All right, I think that looks a whole heck of a lot better. And uh, I gotta do this a couple times a week because believe it or not, these guys are very good about going into their home. The cherry heads, um, they love going in here. They got their heat mat there. There's one on the top. It keeps them nice and toasty on these cool nights. Uh, they'll come out, they'll eat. I also sprayed myself. <laughs> I had an accident with the hose. But anyway, um, these guys are doing good. I'm pretty stoked. We get this done. This gives me a good opportunity uh, to make sure that um, everything's clean in here, you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and shut this and we're gonna move along and see who else needs our attention today. Oh my gosh, yeah, just because the animals are locked up does not mean there's not a lot of work to do. Let's go check out, actually, you know who needs it? Let's go see what these iguanas are up to. These guys are also good about going in on their own, so I don't mind opening their door and letting them out for a little bit. Some of the animals, or if there are a lot of animals, like the Redfoots, um, and being that, you know, it's the holiday season, I've got a lot of responsibilities here. So yeah, you could see we've got, uh, we've got this, we're gonna open her up, 
so we can kind of get these two hi they're nice and warm we're gonna open this up and i'm gonna go and sweep this out you're gonna come out and say hello oh come on out and say hello that's petro that's a big boy petro oh, i love you and there's petro pretty girl so she's doing good um but yeah man i'm gonna go ahead and get a uh, broom and we'll just sweep this up real quick like and uh that'll be nice and easily done i don't want you guys living in poops now do i definitely not oh my god i love them they're the coolest little lizards aren't they and we've got baby rhino iguanas still so you guys uh email me and put in the uh, header rhino iguana babies if you're interested in getting one we're doing a uh christmas new year special on them four hundred dollars shipped for a little baby of petro and petra pretty neat all right i won't be able to ship until after the new year but man these guys are awesome hey girl you gonna come right on up me you gonna come right on up come on you come on i don't mind i love you come on i'm just helping her shed a little bit here come on baby oh yeah you want to say hello to daddy <laughs> how cool huh she wanted to come right out and say hello to me i love her she's a sweetheart my gosh these rhino iguanas are some of my favorite lizards they tame up nice if you're patient with them and oh i just think they have cool personalities right you're a pretty good personality don't you you gonna come climb on me oh my gosh oh wait oh oh gee where are you going oh my gosh oh, oh ooh, ow ooh, oh yeah okay well hey well hey that's pretty good what do you guys think this isn't so bad. Is this a good look? Hmm, I don't know. I think this warrants a little Instagram shot. Let's see. Let's see if I can get a good pic. Oh my gosh, you guys have to check out my Instagram. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Here we go, guys. Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh. I love her. What a cute lizard. Let's go portrait mode. Oh, there's a lot of torque on this hat. <laughs> oh, gosh. There's always something fun happening here at the camp. Even when it's cool out, these animals need my attention. She just really wanted to get on up nice and high. I mean, what do you think? Should I do the rest of the video with the lizard on my head? I don't think I could. She, she's making me work out my neck, I can tell you that much. She's pretty heavy nowadays. She's got to be about 10, 15, eh, maybe... I don't know. It feels about 10 pounds. Anyway, these guys are awesome. Let's go ahead. I'll, I'll, oh, jeez. I got to be careful, man. I don't want to lose an eyeball. I don't know if she's going to be too cool about this. Let's go ahead and put her back down here. We can let them walk around. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, gosh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. That's digging in my neck. Oh, yeah. There you go. Where is she, guys? Do you know? I can't say. Oh, wait. There you go. Here, you guys. Just do your thing. Oh, you know what though? I gotta be careful. I don't want him to knock this down. It's like a guillotine. Oh, you gonna come up now? Are you gonna come up on your daddy? Huh? How awesome is it to spend time with these animals? Even on a day when you didn't think you were gonna hang out with anybody, you get to, you get to play with your lizards. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, careful guys, careful. Here, go ahead. Oh, that hurts. Oh my God, they have such claws. They have such claws and they hurt so bad. <laughs> we'll let them walk around for a moment while I go get this. Go on down, go on down. Oh my gosh, are you gonna get down? There you go, there you go, go on. Cool. All right, let me go ahead and grab a, uh, a broom. You guys watch the lizards. I'm gonna get a little, a little hand broom and we'll go ahead and get this going. All right, nice and clean, room for two. Let's go ahead. This guy was eating. Oh, are you gonna be, oh, you like that freedom, don't you? Yes, you do, you like that freedom, don't you? Come on, get in there. There's your little house. Let's go get your girlfriend. Let's go get Petra, because it is gonna get cold this evening. Where is she? Hmm, 
these guys can get into some trouble pretty quick here. Hey, what you doing down there? Of course she's in a spot I can't get to. Let's see. Come on, baby girl. Come on. Come on, Petra. She's all, see how she just flicks her tongue. She's never been over here, so she's just checking things out. I can tell you what though, she's definitely gonna, she's curious about anything with bright colors. That'll give you a shock, don't eat that. Oh, but look, what about that weed? What about that? Oh yes, get a little flick, a little eat, let her eat some of these weeds. I don't mind. How cool, right? They can just walk around and nibble on things because I don't use any pesticides. You can see how those teeth work. They just grip and shred and just shear the leaves right off the stalk. Pretty good. She'll just keep eating. A little twist of the head, she gets what she wants. I love it. And that tongue's also sticky. Look at her go. That's my girl. That's why these animals are so awesome. I love giving them the opportunity to kind of come on out here and explore. It's all about enrichment, right? We got to keep these animals' lives exciting. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, easy, easy. I don't want to go oh, easy, darling. Easy, darling. Oh, I'm getting shredded. I'm getting shredded. Oh, wow. Okay. Wait a second. Oh, he went outside. He's in his enclosure. Let's go shut this up. Holy smokes. All right. Well, you can see that even on cold or cool days, there's a lot to do. I don't know if you guys saw it in the time lapse, but she actually bit this little gal's head. It looked uh, appetizing, I suppose. So if we just walk around here, let's grab this, get this out of the enclosure and get the hose out of the enclosure. They've got fresh water, their homes are clean, and they even got to walk around a little bit, which is pretty cool. That's a woodpecker. I believe that's a pileated woodpecker. Pileated, peleated, I don't know the words. But it's a woodpecker, making that noise. Uh, all right, everybody, there you go. We're gonna let these guys have a little sunshine. And uh, I am gonna go ahead and get back to work. Just wanted to drop you guys a little video, let you know what's going on here at the camp. There's always, always something happening. In fact, I'm actually gonna go get a little bike riding done. So maybe I'll drop some footage of that in as well. Would you guys like to see me play around on an airbag? Try and relive my youth with two young shredders? Sure, why not? So that's what we'll do. I got my chores done, the animals are happy, and now I'm gonna go play myself because uh, I gotta enrich my life, don't I? All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to come back, more videos, a whole heap of fun stuff happening after the new year. Hope you guys are having a great holiday season. I'll be talking to you soon. I'm glad we got these guys out for a little bit of a walkabout. All right, everyone, thanks so much. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What do you do for your animals when it gets cold? Do you still work with them? Are you keeping them clean? That's the only way to keep them healthy. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, oh boy.